Hi. Recently, Patron was under attack, and uh, unfortunately for us, they beefed up their security, so I cannot uh, log in remotely to Patron anymore. And I needed to think of uh, some workaround for this, and I was able to make it work, but in the way to do it will be a little bit different, so more hands-on approach. So, uh, first of all, to run uh, Patreon notification, you need to download uh, FSN, this application that you can see right now. Uh, after you're running locally on, on or on a server, you will log in, you will go to configuration, to uh, available pages, you will scroll down to Patreon, and here uh, there are a couple of changes. We no longer have uh, email and password and we have new fields uh, cookies. So instead email, uh, user and password will use the cookies. So this is the hands-on approach. You need to copy those cookies yourself. So the uh, link changed a little bit. So I can copy it to some text editor and we need to fill uh, the missing uh, things like symbol, interval, this is two minutes, and goals. You can set up uh, goals the same way you have it on Patreon. And this is the cookie part, so we need to find those cookies. So what, what you will do, you will go to your Patreon page, you will log in, then you will go to Patreon Manager, then to view our current patrons and now you will open uh, developer console in Chrome it is uh, settings more tools and developer tools you will go to network tab and you will hit uh, download button okay you can cancel this window and what we have we have the request that was made and we need to copy the cookies from here. So you can click on the name of the request, you can uh, find cookies and co copy all that. Okay, and in your favorite text editor, you will paste it. And now we need to search for those three cookies so I can see. First one is here. Okay, the session is here and the group ID is also here. So those three will allow us to uh, to download this this uh, patron file. Okay, so you need to copy the value wi without the last character and paste it to the URL. Okay, now the group. And session. Okay. And now we have the, the link that we'll use in OBS. The last thing we can do, we can add the test, onload test, onload test 1. And uh, important thing is this is only for testing, you need to remove this before you go live. Okay. So let's copy this and we'll go to OBS, we'll create new CR browser and I can edit this and I will add. Okay, this is the resolution of the Patreon notification. Uh, you can change the size after you, you are done. So right now we can... Ok, 
Okay, so we can enable it and okay, it should it should be and positions should be up. Okay, so let's try that one more time. And okay. Yeah. So I, as you can see, I don't have any patrons, but basically, this is the way how you will do it yourself. And uh, a very important thing is that the, the session. The session will be open as long as you have, uh, as long as you have the, uh, as you as long as you are logged into Patreon. So don't close this this window. And uh, once the cookies will expire, uh, the notification will no longer uh, no longer work. So uh, this is a uh, little bit. More difficult than it used to be, but uh, what, what can you do? This is the way that it works now. And if I will be able to uh, to uh, implement it the way it used to be, I will do that. But right now it's not possible. So this is the way how to do it. And I would like to thank you for watching and see you next time.